So uh, I, I did a last question here before we get into your 30 day game plan, which I'm really excited to go into where you're teaching people how to go from absolutely uh, nothing to having a fruit delivery business basically in 30 days. Uh, that's going to be really cool. But last question before we get to that is um, what advice would you give someone who's thinking about starting a business in the vegan niche? What would their very first action step be? And how could you, what advice would you give them to help overcome that, you know, that, that paralysis where they're just not doing anything? Um, well, yeah, I definitely recommend first figuring out what your passion is, what you're good at, and also what does your community need? Like what kind of value can you provide? I think that third one is really important. Um, but the other two obviously have value too, because you want to be happy about what you're doing and you want to be good at what you're doing too. Um, so everyone has different skills and they usually align with their passions, but there's also like, you want to like be able to provide something that's like that you believe in like, I really believe that fruit is nourishing and so I really I want to provide a valuable product for people um, and then once you figure out once you get more clear on what it is exactly that fits those three things then I would start I create an Instagram a Facebook a YouTube and just start creating as much content as possible and getting it out there and creating partnerships with people that are in a similar niche Amazing. That's such good advice. I love that. I love that. I love, I love those three. Uh, what you love, what you're passionate about, and then what you're good at and what people need. That's really awesome. Uh, and typically, too, what, what people need, if you find what people need, it can be so exciting that you start doing it. It becomes a passion. And the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? Mm -hmm. so it right. doesn't necessarily need to start from passion or the, from need. It can start from any of those three, but they all link up. And that's really, really powerful combination. Um, so when you say, when you say, uh, start creating content on Instagram and, and things like that, what, what is, what does that mean? Create content? Um, well, just talk about what you're passionate about or what you, what kind of service or product you're providing and, and just try and provide as much information as possible, um, and connecting with any community, um, find hashtags that are relevant to what you're trying to do, um, and find people that are interested in, in what you're trying to provide and, and reach out to them, um, like their posts, comment on their stuff, send them DMs, and, and then ask them like, what kind of value can I provide for you? I definitely recommend like creating as much valuable content too. Like you can entertain people or you can educate people or you can inspire people. So definitely you wanna do a little bit of all three or focus uh, intensely on one of those things and just keep going with that. Entertain, educate, inspire? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Well, that's another good three, there's a gem right there. Um, how, last question, truly last question. How do you sell all this fruit without being salesy? Um, well, to be fair, I do feel a little bit salesy. Like I try and balance it though. Um, I try and, and help people and educate them. And also I try and show people like how awesome it is to eat something brand new and exciting that they never had before. Um, yeah, I just try to make it fun too. I, I I definitely am super consistent with the content that I put out on Instagram, but I also want make sure that the content is high quality as well. I don't think I sacrifice quality for consistency. Um, so yeah, I guess just like create stuff that you would want to see and that you would want to follow as well. Beautiful. And how many posts per day? Um, so for when I was first starting out, Three posts a day, every day, for wow. probably at least over a year, maybe two years. Wow. Three posts on, a day. On, on Miami Fruit? Mm hmm And multiple stories a day. I'd go live at least once a week. Um, and then I'd say this last summer, I started doing two posts a day. And then actually starting January 1st, 2020, I'm doing one post a day. But if you're just starting out, um, I highly recommend at least three posts a day. Um, the reason why I'm moving down to one post today is just because I don't want to be too salesy or, or too spammy. And I also want to have time to work on other things as well, like in the physical aspect of our business, because I have spent a lot of time building up the digital part of our business. But I, again, like I want to be involved in, in paving a path and, and working towards making our product as amazing as possible. So I want to be as involved with that as possible, which is why I'm not doing one post today. I love, man, I could ask you so many more questions. We could talk forever about more of these little hacks and tricks that you have and tactics and strategies that you use. I want to know them all, uh, but we got to get into the 30 day game plan now. So 
Uh, for those of you who are interested in that 30-day game plan, uh, you can head over to pbrsummit.com and you can sign up there for the full access pass and you'll get all the interviews with all of the presenters as well as their 30-day game plan. Lifetime access to everything there too. So thank you very much, Adele. I appreciate that. And if anyone wants to buy some fruit off you, which I highly recommend, head over to miamifruit.com and pick yourself up a special box. Uh, is there a coupon code for the PBR Summit crew? Ooh, um, not yet, but we can definitely make that happen. Just let me know what you want the code to be. I mean, we could make it uh, Fruit King. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, Fruit King is the code if you want to save some money on a special order from Miami Fruit. Highly recommend it, best fruit ever. Like I said, if they just sold bananas, I would still buy from them because the bananas are tip top. Very, very good. So thanks a lot, Adele, and uh, see you in the 30-day game plan.